Over there? Why doesn't he answer? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Brought you some coffee. Thank you. I came to relieve you, Ella. You've been on long enough. I I'm just giving someone his call. Yeah, three more. Exactly. You know, he takes up more time than all of our subscribers put together. All right, Ella. Ella, come on, Ella. Ella, get up. But, Sue, it's a very important wake-up. See? Someone was trying to get it. Jeffrey Moss residence. You know, Mr. Hastings, he cannot be reached. Can I give him a message? Okay. If you do not show up with outline for play today, we will drop my touch. I've taken an option on a new play. Hope you enjoy trip to Skid Row. Thank you very much, Mr. Hastings. That's a very important message, Sue. He's got to get that message. There must be something wrong. Listen, listen. All this nonsense is over. Inspector Barnes, remember? Now go out. Have a nice day. He's probably unplugged his phone again anyway. All right, I'll be 4750 for the installation. Cash. Just a minute. All right, all right. Get time. Come. Come on. Keep the change. Big sport. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Ah, Suzanne. Oh, <laughs> Welcome to Suzanne the first. For you. A <laughs> <laughs> oh, splendid board of directors meeting. Splendid. Ah, my telephone. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, yes, Titanic Records, good morning. Yes, 1,500 albums of Puccini's Eight Piccolo Concerto, Opus One. Right. Yes, we'll ship them out right away. <coughs> Hello? Shipping department. 1,500 albums of Puccini's Eight Piccolo Concerto, Opus One, all three speeds. <laughs> ah, see, it's very simple. You just pick up the telephone, jot down the message, and ring the shipping department on this phone, and it's a direct wire, and you give the message just as you get it. Oh, Sandor, do you really know all these pieces of music? Well, I, I studied under the immortal Sitzinger. <laughs> Sandor, you're such a genius. Ah, your first record order, Sue. Titanic Records! Good morning, ladies. It's me again. Oh, here she is. Oh, you're going to be hungry here. Yeah, it will hold you for a while. Uh, this is how uh, sweet and low is yours. Here's your chicken. I got fish. I got pot roast for you. I got one. I got two. I got... That's enough for you. They'll hold you to lunch. And we have one delivery person still waiting. Uh, Hello, Paul. How are you? How are you doing? Shipping department. I want 75 albums of box third Brandenburg Concerto, opus number five, LP. Uh -oh. Thank you. Splendid, 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 splendid. Titanic Records. What's this, a new label? So we only have the finest European recordings. Brandenburg number three. Hey, I've got mine by Leonard Bernstein. Who's on yours? We yeah, have the Dusseldorf side is the new light Hansianic League symphony under the direction of Karl Fluch. <laughs> Who? Fluch! Karl Fluch! Fluch! <laughs> never heard of him. Well, perhaps Karl Fluch never heard of you. Now, please, we're very busy. Run along. Excuse me. Hi, Carl. Hi, Hi Ella. Hi. Where are you going? Max is dog and cat beauty salon. No, I'm sorry, they're not open till nine o'clock. Are you out of your mind? When there's an attention home? Somebody has to wake you. I'll just do it and I'll leave. The inspector said no personal contact. But it won't be personal. He'll never know who I am. How are you going to get in? Oh, well, I'll think of something. Oh, women's detention home. I, I mean, Max is dog and cat house. Ella, I'm going with you. Oh, Maybe I can help you. You might do something great. 
Miss Peterson. Hello, Inspector. I'd like to apologize for the little misunderstanding we had last night. Oh, oh, that's okay. It could happen to anybody. Where are you going? Uh, shopping. Moby! What are you shopping Maybe for? Maybe I ought to come along. That won't be necessary. What are you shopping for? Select a choice. Select a choice. What color? Uh, green. Take the color. Green, green. That's my favorite color. Mine you know, too. I don't know what's going on around here. But I'm going to keep my eye on you. You're a pretty confused kid. <laughs> You're right, Inspector. But Elle is only trying to help. She doesn't mean to be on the wrong side of the law. Sometimes she doesn't know right from wrong. Maybe you can help her. Mother and Dad said to her, you see. Juliet Capulet calls, and the message is, 
am avoiding mar marriage with other fellow and playing dead. <laughs> Friar Lawrence gave me great big sleeping pill, and when I wake up, we'll head for the border. Oh, don't thank me. It's all in a day's work. See what she could have done? Maybe I'm right. And maybe I'm wrong. But if she got that message through on time, I'm telling you, those two kids would be alive today. So, here it comes, Ryan Joe, Hellbow Lady Rock. The streets, when I'll confess, she just commit. and I'm going back to sleep. Let yourself out. Don't go back to sleep. It's past 7 o'clock already. Look, lady, I don't mind you breaking in here in the middle of the night, but 7 o'clock, I told Mom to call. Excuse me, but uh, your phone is unplugged. Oh? Oh, yeah. I must have unplugged it last night when I was looking for something to hang myself with. Hello, Mom? Oh, you're the other one. My producer called. He's uh, taking an option on another play, huh? Well, he didn't say he's written it, did he? Shakespeare, Tennessee Williams. Or maybe it was Tennessee Ernie. Never mind. Goodbye. Well, I might as well go back to sleep forever. Bye, lady. You shouldn't do that. Really, don't do that. You won't be able to do your work, and then you'll lose your last chance. Last chance? What work? What chance? Last chance to do what? Well, whatever it's your last chance to do. You look desperate to me. Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. You don't have to have a cup of coffee with you, do you? Yes, I do. Uh, and a prune Danish, please? Cheese. You know, uh, Miss, uh, um, 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 um... Uh, Scott, uh, 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 Melisande. Moss, Jeffrey, sit down, Miss Scott. Oh, I can't because I have to go. You know, uh, now that my uh, vision's cleared up and, uh, I can make out shapes and colors at six inches, you look pretty good to me. Your appointment doesn't appear to be too important and I have nothing to do for the next 6,000 years or so. That's just another way of avoiding your work, girls. And you do have something to do. You have an appointment. Who said so? Your, your seven o'clock call. Now stay up and start writing. You can write alone. You did it once. How do you know what I did once? Because, because anyone who's a writer must have written something by himself once. Did I say I was a writer? No, 
But you're not a plumber, are you? No. Well, I guess you don't think so yourself. Or you'd be writing instead of running around all night, coming home at 7 in the morning, and sleeping all day. Son, Connie, are you plugged into me somewhere I don't know about? I got it. You're a psychic. Why, yes. I'm very intuitive. I get feelings about people. Well, I know a lot about you just from listening to you talk. And I get visions. And I've got one now. It's a vision of you. And you're lying face down in the gutter. That's what I see. And my visions are never wrong. Unless you do something. Unless you act right now. All right, all right. I tried analysis. Why not witchcraft? Tell you what. You get the uh, boil of water, get the pins and the dogs, and I'll beat the drum. Boom, 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 boom. You tell me what to do, and I'll do it. Keep your appointment. Uh-uh, that's no good. I gotta show up with an outline of the entire play. You do as I say. Sit down at your typewriter. Yeah. And now? Yeah? Write it. <laughs> I knew there was a catch to it. Oh, stop stalling. You're not so badly off. Why, I know this guy whose father is forcing him to be a dentist when he really wants to be a composer. That poor fellow sits up in his office all day composing songs on the air. Nobody's keeping you from doing what you want except yourself. You're afraid everyone's going to think, oh, it was his partner who was the talented one. So what? You're afraid that what you write won't be important enough. So you don't write anything at all. Mr. Moss, you have to have confidence in yourself. Well, I don't even know you, but I have confidence in you. All right. I'll try. Uh, miss, I don't think I can write this if you leave. Act two, C, three, outline. Inspector Barnes speaking. Inspector, she's with a man named Moss, Jeffrey Moss. Jeffrey Moss, number 37. He's a subscriber. Francie, we're on the right trail. Well, they took a cab to a theatrical office building. She waited outside. What did she do? She bought a bag of popcorn and threw it at some pigeons. Mm, then she had a souvlaki sandwich. Is that all? No, no, no. He came down about an hour later looking kind of dazed. Mm, then it started to rain. I'm glad I wore my rain hat. Will you cut the weather report? What happened? Well, they uh, tried to get a cab. She kept saying they'd never get a cab and they should take a subway. He kept saying uh, they'd get a cab. And they ran down the street together uh, with him yelling, taxi, uh, taxi. He liked it. <laughs> Larry liked it. I can't believe it. He made some criticisms, and he pointed out that it isn't exactly finished yet, and he made me promise to go to the country for a week to work. But by and large, it's a miracle. It's not a miracle. You did it. You're the miracle. Look, people. <laughs> well, what did you expect in a public park? Herrings? But I wanted to celebrate this miracle with you. Alone, do you mind? Oh, how'd you like to have a face like that in your family? What? I wouldn't mind. No, really, Jeff. Most people are very kind and friendly. It's just that everybody's afraid to make the first move. You know, this may sound a little old-fashioned, but I'm a firm believer in the basic humanity of people. You mean like Dracula's uncle over there, the wolf man? Looks like the only thing he'd be friendly with is a fresh cup of blood. You're wrong. I'll prove it to you. Watch. Hello. What did you say? I, I only said, hello. Hello? Hello? Did you say hello? This is, this is the first time that anybody has said hello to me in this book in 30 years. Hello, I'm Ludwig Smiley. How do 
do you do, Mr. Smiley? I'd like you to meet Mr. Moss. He also likes to make new friends. Hello there. Hello. How are you? How are you, brother? He called me brother. She said hello. Oh, God. Hello. 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 My name is Leonard Smiley. Hello, brother. Hello, Smiley. God bless you. My name is Charles Benson. So nice to finally beat you after watching you fly your kite in this park for so many years. You know, I feel I know you like a brother. You know, it's nice having a brother, isn't it? Now, some may join the Elks, my friends. Some may join the Shriners. And other folks may carry cards. <laughs> Members of the diners. Still others wear a golden key, a small Greek letter pin. But I have learned there's one Greek club that all of us are in. There is a
the best party I've been to in years. Hostess, thank you. You're welcome. You're up in any time. Hey, the sun. I haven't seen the sun in years. You know, Mom would never believe it. I know, let's call her. Who? Mom, that's a little old lady on my answering service. Oh, oh, um, uh, uh, where are we? 53rd Street? Oh, boy, I have to get out to Bay Ridge. Bay Ridge? Oh, sure, uh, I spent a lot of time out there taking care of my uncle. Your uncle? Oh, sure, but you don't believe I have an Uncle Gus in Bay Ridge? Oh, sure, I believe you. You are the only honest person in my life. If I couldn't believe in you after all of this, then I'd crumble like a piece of stale sponge cake. Well, believe me, I have to go. But I'll be away for a week. When will I see you? I don't know. I know. I'll call you for the country. No phone. Uh, now, wait a second. Either I see you a week from today, or I don't go. In fact, I'm going to follow you all the way to Bay Ridge, right now. All right, all right. Uh, your place, next Wednesday, 6 o'clock. Promise? I promise. Bye. 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 Next Wednesday, 6 o'clock. And don't forget the cheese Danish. What do I see? A most enchanting face. My pulse begins to race. Hey! He met a girl, a model girl. She's fairer than a radio, fairer than a girl. He's not quite a treasure, and he wants to show.
teeth. I love your teeth. Your funny, sunny teeth. They hang. No. They're, they're like a pearly reed. That, that's it, that's it. I love your teeth. Your funny, sunny teeth. They're like a pearly reed that hangs over my heart. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh, I gotta say that. Lord, that was it. Worked out. Hello. It's just a minute, please. Uh, yes, uh, hello. Uh, so you're Dr. Kitchell, the dentist. Yes, uh, wonderful, isn't it? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I guess I forgot we had an appointment. Uh, won't you have a seat, please? Yes, now, uh, did you tell me your name, please? Uh, it started hurting as I was coming down the hall. Uh, okay, well, uh, then, um, we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll have a look. Okay, <laughs> we'll have a look right next time. And, um, no. <laughs> uh, we'll have a look. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, well, have a, well, well, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll just have a look. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, 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 that's very good. Uh, I, I don't see anything, though. Oh, but it hurts. You don't see anything. But it hurts. Bum, 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 bum. You don't see the pain in my heart. Bum, 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 bum. But oh, 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 it hurts. <laughs> oh, that's just funny. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, now, did you say whether it was sensitive to uh, hot and cold? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> First you're hot, first you're hot, and then you're cold, and then you're shy, and then you're bold. But I'm always sensitive. Oh, do you mean that? Oh, yes. My God, you're the first one. I mean, I, I hate being a dentist, and I lose more patients that way. But I love to write songs. I can write a song about anything. You name it, any subject, any topic. I'm trying anything. Sponge try cake. Sponge cake? No, uh, the Midas Touch. That's, uh, the Midas uh, Touch. Um, let's see now, uh, about a king and, uh, his gold and, uh, let's see now. Let's go, let's go. the mighty, 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 mighty touch, that might is worth it. Gold so much. <laughs> Boy, that is brilliant. Well, I guess you'll be there then. Huh? I'll, I'll be where? Getaway Club, Friday, 10 a.m. They're auditioning songs. Auditioning songs? My gosh, that's my golden opportunity. That's wonderful. Oh, I'll be there at 9.30. Yes. You write that down now. Oh, I will, I will. Oh, golly, miss. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, miss. Oh, miss. Oh, miss. Oh, miss. Oh, oh, Mississippi Steamboat round in the bed. Number 33. Inspector, she don't seem like any lady in the evening. Kitchell, a dentist. 
I got it. It's a front for a baby selling racket. Come on! But she seems like such a nice girl. Boy. Yeah. Hey, Barton. Yeah. Did you get the part in mind as such? No. Them producers ain't too bright, you Oh, know. the producers ain't too bright. No. no. Hey, yo, Dixie. What? Hey, why don't you get me one of them Sundays with the hot fudge action, with the whipped cream on top, little cherry. Go. Hey, yo, Dixie. What? I don't want to see no crushed nuts. I see one crushed nut, I crush you. Uh, 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 whose motorcycle's uh, that out there? That's Barton's. Crazy, ain't it? Right on, brother. Hey, right on, sister. Uh, so, uh, you're Barton, huh? You having any luck? Nah. Nah. I thought I had a chance at that part in the Midas touch. I could have been a contender. I could have been... Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Tell me, uh, did you ever try wearing a suit? <laughs> a what? Look, around here, we got names for people that wear suits. And I ain't turning no Johnny Carson for nobody. Sure. Be a punk imitation the rest of your life. But well, I'm telling you, if you want the job, well, you gotta cut the blue jeans action. I mean, look around you. You're a glut on the market. You're nothing. Oh, all right, you're right. I'll do it. Brooks Brothers, 44th and Sponge Cake. Uh, Madison. Yeah, let's go, Dix. Hey, Dixie, I said let's go. Do you see my feet moving? Go. Uh -huh. Well, that's okay, because I ain't afraid of you, because I'm going all the way. Ta-da.